Hi everyone, welcome back to my recipe video. Today I want to share my Japanese curry recipe with you guys. I paired it with tonkatsu, a fried pork, and rice. Watch the whole video to learn little tips to make the perfect Japanese curry. Today's curry recipe is very simple and easy. First, I prepared one whole yellow onions by slicing them. Try to slice them the same thickness as possible. This will help them cook more evenly. I think I've used hundreds of onions in my videos ever since I started YouTube. And I definitely think that my knife skills improved a lot because it is much easier for me to chop the onions uh, now than ever, actually. Except it still makes me cry. And that is it for the preparation. So easy, right? Now, in a clean pot, I am using half stick of unsalted butter. Make sure the butter doesn't burn before you add the onions and keep your eyes on them and take it off the heat if necessary. And when the butter melts, add your onions. Now, here comes the most important part of this recipe. Well, in my opinion. We started cooking the onions on medium-high heat at first, but once they start browning, reduce the heat to medium and caramelize them until they are completely brown. It is okay if some parts are burnt. This step is really, 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 really important because it adds amazing flavor to the curry and it'll make the world of difference. So if you have the time, do not skip. Once you think the onions are caramelized enough, add one box of chicken stock. If you don't have chicken stock, you could replace it with water. Or if you just want to use vegetable stock, feel free to do so. You can skip this part to be honest because this is just a preference. And I like to blend the onions to make the sauce smoother when I am pairing them with tonkatsu. And if you don't have a food processor or if you just don't feel like it, Seriously, don't worry, you can just skip it and just serve it the way it is. I am using SMB's Tasty Curry Mix today in medium hot. Each box comes with two packs and today I just need to use one. Once you let the curry dissolve and simmer, add about one spoonful of vegetable fruit sauce. If you don't have this specific product, you can just use tonkatsu sauce from different company. By the way, this is something I recommend experimenting on your own. You could try adding more or less. Finally, let's prepare the pork for tonkatsu. I have two pork fillings to work with today. I got them from Target. I am using the meat tenderizer to make it thinner so it cooks faster. You will need flour, breadcrumbs, and eggs. Beat the eggs and strain them to a separate bowl. This will help coating the pork butter and not fall apart when you're frying them. The order of coating the pork is flour, eggs, breadcrumbs, eggs, and breadcrumbs again.
Heat the oil to 300 to 350 Fahrenheit and cook the pork 3 minutes each side. If your pork is thinner, cook less. Let the tonkatsu cool a little bit and then cut them into your preference. Finally, we can plate them. I used one bowl of rice and one whole tonkatsu per dish. I am touching it up with some sesame seeds, tonkatsu sauce, and parsley flakes. And now it's ready! How is that? Chicken do turn in that, could they run? Chicken brother is done. Tano was a star. Hope you enjoy it, Punda. Hope you saw. Just hunt for him. I'll talk to him too. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh oh! Oh, I'm a totem at Ponessa. Yeah, I'm through a parrot in the. What was the internal temperature of this? 250. This is outside temperature, what is the internal temperature? 150 That's illegal Why? I'm gonna have to search it down Why? What does that have to be? Pork chop minimum has to be 160 No, it's 165 No <laughs> Snip that. Better to look on camera. <laughs> 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 